my name is Rosalina. Um, I'm a wedding photographer and I'm the owner of Rosalina Suarez Photography. I started photography in general 2011, but I didn't go into wedding photography until two years later. Before that, I was working as a self-sufficiency counselor. By that time, I had already been inspired by a photographer. I remember I always wanted to buy a camera, but I never imagined that, um, that I was going to be doing it as a business, just I wanted to do it as a hobby. And I remember going into Target and buying a camera. Um, I was super excited. Um, I started taking pictures of my kids and I started asking people, can I take your picture? Can I take your picture? One of my good friends said yes. Most people were like, eh, thank you. As time went by, I started getting a little bit better and a little bit better. I did my first wedding two years after I started. And they were very happy with the picture, so you know, that was the biggest payment that I could ever receive, you know, them being satisfied with the pictures. They even sent me a, a thank you card, and I think it was, I can't remember if it was um, Olive Garden card. I was like, oh yeah, I, you know, I did good. Uh, after that, I can't remember when I got my next wedding, but I, I do remember that by 2016, I was already having maybe 40 weddings a, a year. This was uh, big weddings, little weddings, uh, and one of my biggest obstacles was my budget. Uh, I wanted to take these great pictures, but um, but I didn't have the money to buy all the different lenses. So the first camera that I bought, you know, I, I bought it from Target. But I knew that was not what I wanted. I wanted more. So I stuck with it as I started getting um, money, not from the photography, from other sources. That's when I was able to buy my next camera. And I transitioned from Nikon to Canon. Another obstacle that I still struggle with sometimes is what they call photographer's block. Sometimes I feel like I've been doing the same thing for too long and I feel like I need inspiration. Uh, the way I handle that is I've gone to, um, to a couple of workshops and when I come back from the workshops, I feel fresh. Now, every time I have a block, I don't attend a workshop. You know, sometimes I have to look for other sources to, to stay inspired. And I see all these other photographers, um, it's like a pattern, you know, everybody's changing their color. And I question myself, do I need to change it too? But then I go back and, and I, I rethink and I, and I say to myself, you know, this is what makes me. giving somebody something to look back to. I'm sure a lot of people do this. I do it. Um, going through our parents' pictures, you know, pictures of us when we were little. And it takes you back, you know, um, to that time. So it's very nice when doing weddings, giving them, you know, that feeling when their grandkids or great grandkids look at the pictures or even their kids because a lot of a lot of um, couples get married not having kids so when they have kids you know they get to sh share that with them and and it's a good feeling it's a good feeling